Now that's a seal of quality right there. <laughs> Sony Computer Entertainment of America? I, I guess. Oh. Man, they look so fucked up every time. I always forget what they look like. The Norks? Is that what they're called? Something like that, yeah. They're, yeah, 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 they're the Norks. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, hi folks! Hello everybody and welcome to the Spyro the Dragon Let's Play. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to it. This is the first time, and, um... This isn't something that we tried to do, like, three years ago. No. No, no sir. definitely not. No. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, so I thought we'd finally go ahead and get going with this one here. Um, Spyro the Dragon is one of my favorite video games of all time, and I really just wanted to show it off. So, uh, here we go, I guess. Yeah. I... So, when we recorded this forever ago i hadn't seen any of this game i never played the original i just played two and three and the edgy reboot but so i still haven't seen most of this game i'll say mm -hmm. okay rolling oh it's been peaceful here in the five worlds God, these or... dragons are so messed up looking in this <laughs> game dragon's age they are we now have 12 000 i mean do you prefer treasure, this or do you prefer like the, the all-out like furry Ones in what about this Ganasty Gnork character? Now I understand he's found I, a magic spell to turn I, I, I'm not really sure. I, 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 I have nostalgia for this, but I actually kind of like what they did in the new one, where they gave them actual personalities and gave them like, oh look, this one's a painter. Oh, this one's a chef. I think that's cute. Ugly that does it. Oh. Yeah, so Looks like I just the, the story you know. is that Nasty Nork got pissed that the dragons were smack-talking him on the news, so he turned them all into statues. And now Spyro has to save them. Uh, I, 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 oh. for, I forgot what buttons were I was pressing at the moment, so, you know. I, you have to dodge get... roll. Yeah, there is a dodge roll. You never have to use it. Um, here's the first dragon. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. So That's all I can tell you. The original voice actor for Spyro was the guy who voiced the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Hmm. Uh, the... The current voice actor and uh, who, the the person who is who became Spyro's voice actor after this game, like Spyro Two onwards, is Tom Kenny. But um, except for in the, whatever the reboot is, the edgy one, because that's Elijah Wood. Sure fucking is. <laughs> sure fucking is. But yeah, so the the uh, this game he was portrayed by Carlos Alaz Rocky. That is the voice actor's name. I, I, I kind of prefer this version of him because he does. He he sounds a little bit more like, like, like like a like a teen, you know, like a like a yeah rude teen. And then in the I, I don't know why I was just kind of like, oh look, you can just, you can look all around. <laughs> I like his horns a lot. Yeah, Spyro's got cool horns. Uh, that jump is really hard for people when they first start out the game because it's kind of hard to like grasp that, but you know, I get it. Um, but you're a professional. Look, I've played through this game like 17 times, so I yes. So so I am I am gonna be doing a hundred percent run here. I'm gonna collect of everything. Course. Yeah, because it is not that hard. Where's Nasty <laughs> Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. Keep your horns. You have much to learn first. Jesus you Christ! Dragonfly following you is Holy the shit, Spyro! What's your fucking problem, Spyro, man? And he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Yeah, that that was explaining the health bar. Uh, Sparks the dragonfly is your health bar. Uh, when he's yellow, that means you're perfect. When you're blue, you took a hit. Green is uh, two hits. And then he disappears after the next one, and then that's that's a that's your death sentence. You get hit one more time, and you're dead. In the reboot, was Sparks voiced by James Spade or hey, David Spade? David Spade, yes. Press the jump button Fuck twice that. to blast. And, <laughs> I'm and gonna say. Afraid. afraid? 
of what? Because like he's Falling cute from here. High mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Sparks was, I, I think, kind of envisioned to be a mascot for this game. Um, in the Japanese yeah. version, uh, there was a like PlayStation like VMU kind of thing where you could upload your dragonfly to it. And uh, depending on what you did, you could do certain like mini games and stuff, and then you actually got different colored dragonflies, which is cute in theory, but with the different colored dragonflies, you actually couldn't tell what your health was. <laughs> oh. Because they would just stay the one color. That's... Hmm. Well, the 90s were a revolutionary time. Sony was still figuring their shit out, I guess. Whoop. Whoa! There, that's a, that's some of the plummeting from prehistoric glaciers that that one dragon was talking about, I, I guess. Uh, yeah. uh, I love Spyro's animations. They're so good. He's extremely cute. Like, how flat he makes himself when he floats up with a uh, portal. Just when you, like, do the little hop and then, like, yeah. Just the little hop. Is, uh, it's so good! It's, it's wonderful. It's so wonderful. It's a good boy. I had to make sure that it's there were so, no gems. Oh, it's just so emotive. Like I guess, like it, it just shows a lot of personality. You can you can burn those flowers if you want. Yeah, that's personality too. Yeah, it's the little things. Insomniac definitely uh, gave a lot of personality to Spyro and his world. I love it a lot. Now here's the fairy. This is how you save. Uh, you can also replay That's dragons right. if you wanna if you wanna maybe reminisce on some bullshit that they say. <laughs> I if I from what we have done in the past, I remember there was something that some dragon said that was really fucking good. Oh well, well, don't worry, we'll see that again. We will. You don't get anything from uh, burning the uh, the plants, unfortunately. But you know, not everything has to be a reward. Yeah. Destruction is its own reward. Absolutely. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. I'm but going to ignore you, Spyro. Spyro. <laughs> Complete you ignore. The other artisan lands. See, so opening up that um, opening up that boss door is uh, something that I screw up on a lot, especially when I'm trying to play this game fast. Um, it's really easy to forget that you have to do that because, uh, there you go, there's the last two gems right there, uh, because you actually have to exit through the exit portal for the boss door to open. Right. So if you just click on exit level in the pause menu, which is the faster way to do it, you usually end up not opening up the boss door <laughs> and you have to go back into a level and then exit <laughs> so here's the first stage the stone hill each there there are uh, four or five stages in each uh, hub world i remember the shepherds they're pretty messed up yeah they're weird looking they make very weird noises i don't like it this room always weirded me out just because it's just like... It's just like a circle. Just running around in a circle yeah. like this. Deja vu, I've never in this place before. <laughs> Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I mean, I usually don't, but don't worry about Damn. it. I can't tell if he was being serious or like an asshole. Oh, he was being an asshole. Uh, oh, yeah, Spyro, you're really good. Here's me testing out that uh, roll. I didn't even know you could. Can you do that in the later games? Probably. I don't I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's me getting hit. Oh, shit. Oh, man, the invincible John gets hit. <laughs> yeah, you, not that you'll need the help, right? Like I said. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so uh, there are usually little, like, fodder enemies that you go around and kill to get uh, butterflies to refill your health. 
Yeah, that's something that I liked about the game is like how every level has like different enemies just like in terms of aesthetics, not necessarily patterns or anything, but Absolutely. That architecture. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. He's dead. This level's kind of a bastard, not necessarily in difficulty, but just uh uh, in this next area that I'm gonna be going to after I uh, after I grab this dragon, it is just it's just I would I would say it's structured poorly. Sparrow, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? <laughs> you bet. For the longest glide, I press wonder the X what's button for at dinner. the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down. I in will never get tired of video game characters telling me to press like the triangle button. It's really funny to me every single it time. It rolls. So this is again another section where I feel like a lot of folks just kind of skip it because it's not really intuitive to fly over there, you know? Like he, he makes a little bit of a hint of it to be like, yeah, glide over there, but it's not that intuitive. And I like, I definitely didn't know about it as a kid. Uh, anyway, that is the first uh, blue egg thief. Uh, there's not one in every stage, but they're, for like the first half of the game, they're all over the place. Uh, you want to collect all the eggs to rescue the baby dragons, I guess. See, I think even if it may not be intuitive, I really like that you can just fly over onto the borders of the map. What looks like it's the borders of a map or something like that, you know, oh, compared like, to like Crash Bandicoot or something. Oh, I definitely like it. It's just the kind of thing where like as a kid, I never got it. But once I got older and once I got a little bit more of like an exploratory itch, I was just like, oh, there's more to this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also, there's definitely something I appreciate about the simplicity of this game compared to, say, like, some of the shit you have to do in uh, Ripto's Rage or yeah. the Dragon. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a proponent of things being a little bit more simple. Um, I, you know, I, I absolutely think that games should be iterated on and concepts should be expanded. But, God, I just really love how simple this game is, that it is just collect all the items and get out of there, instead of like, oh, here's all these mini-games. Some of these mini-games suck ass. <laughs> yeah, like, the one that's always stuck in my head is the one where you have to spy on, uh, what's his, Agent Zero or whatever? Oh, God. I forget, but I just remember as a child hating it so much. <laughs> I hate stealth games in general, kind of. Here, here's another place that you would miss. Oh, you have to drop yeah, down. Yeah, this, on this one's beach. way out of the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where you grab a key, and uh, you got to go back. Uh, you may have missed. I, I kind of avoided going into that like well-looking place earlier. This is where you use the key, or because you you got to drop down there, and there's a there's a locked chest in there. See? Yeah. Ooh, there it is. And there's another dragon. There it is. Ah, oh, that noise. It's super good. Right, yeah, there's still some gems around. Like I said, that... That one Watch area is so fly, hard to find. His color like, indicates all the gems, his like, you always miss, like, one or two. butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, dude, whatever. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think that specific dragon, uh, when you're playing the uh, remake, is just like a craft beer looking guy. Like, he's got like a fucking dweeby, like, hipster mustache. It's pretty good. I am all for dragons and things. That's what I think, and I'm glad that a Spire remake happened, and I hope maybe they do more stuff. I'm hoping. There's hoping. Because I, I don't know how you stand about it, and I think it's they're fine, but I never have had much of an affinity for the Crash Bandicoot. I never did. I never liked Crash. I tried. I, hadn't, I didn't play it when I was younger, um, 
but I played it around, I would say when I was like 17, mm. because my girlfriend at the time and my best friend swear by it. They love it. They always talk about Crash Bash, Crash Team Racing, all that <laughs> shit. They're like, oh yeah, it's great. And I tried playing Crash Bandicoot, and I was like, this is fine, I guess. I don't know. I'd rather play Spyro. <laughs> and then I went and played like Ripto's Rage again. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. There we go. So yeah, there's the last three. And there we go. So yeah, so you just, there's the full inventory there. You get the egg, you get all that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just exit. Through the portal. Yeah, go out the right way so I don't uh, get yelled at by the boss door. <laughs> 